rescue mission has been called off for the night after crews spent hours looking for the person in the Big Blue River without any luck. Now, this all took place in Edinburgh, right near State Road 252. And that's where we find our own David McAnally, who spoke with witnesses about what they saw. On Big Blue River at Edinburgh, big rescue attempt. It's been a wild night. The 911 call said... That an individual had fallen into the water. That call came from a, a female caller uh, driving a vehicle across the bridge, had a passenger. passenger says that she saw the same thing, an individual fall in at the dam. Um, sur the subject resurfaced once. But not seen again. Neighbors and witnesses shared photos and videos of the search effort. Yeah, we, talking to these we were kids. talking to some kids. They passed us and like they were talking about their friend. They thought that was their friend. Yeah, they said or that something. they exactly described their friend and they were with their friend earlier. And then he went somewhere, and then he didn't. They couldn't call him back or anything. So they think that it's their friend that jumped in. Oh wow! Everyone here remembers another rescue attempt almost five years ago. Two Franklin High School football players, Jason Moran and Michael Chadburn, died trying to rescue a female friend who was critically injured. The teens had gone into the water and got caught up in the low head dam's dangerous boil, so strong it will not let a person resurface. Parents warn their kids around here. Oh, yeah. I've actually, re I, since I'm interested, because I know quite a few people, their lives have been taken from the, these dams. Like, I look it up on my own time because it's, it's crazy. They pull you under so fast. We've been searching uh, by boat. The water is extremely high. Um, and with the dam, the, it creates its own dangers for divers, so we're not putting any divers in the water at this time. But we searched land and water and have had nothing, even had drones up in the area. Thursday night, rescuers suspended the search. They're going to resume on Friday morning. They're going to be also, though, overnight, keeping an eye along the shore and bridges. David McAnally, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.